More than 500 pilgrims have joined Lesotho's Queen Masenate on her first grueling three-day Moshweshwe walk to commemorate the founding father of the Mountain Kingdom. The walk, now in its 10th year, has also attracted enthusiasts from neighboring countries. These are the remains of Ming Huaning, a small village where King Moshweshwe, the founder of the Basotho, was born. The Moshweshwe walk traces his steps from here to Tababusiu, where he established his stronghold and fortress. The queen arrived dressed in full hiking gear and in high spirits for her first pilgrimage, accompanying her a contingent of aides and security. It's a boost for tourism. It's because now we are singing one song, internationally, locally, that we think uh, we are saying, uh, let's talk about domestic tourism, nothing else. So before I know international tourism, I have to know local tourism. The walk coincides with Lesotho's 50 years of independence. Yes, it was tough. It, it's a milestone. It's a milestone. You know, we are coming a long way. There are lots of challenges. And the most important part, there are people that we've started 207 up to now they're still working with her and for me it's, it's, it's a real honor the queen and enthusiasts will spend the next three days walking and sleeping in campsites now, this is very historical for us as Basutu. this uh, tells us where we come from and uh, for us it shows uh, it indicates where we're going as Basutu. i was telling my friends walking i'm gonna take this walk they thought i'll never finish and i'm here they don't believe me I'm here. Brian is here. And I'm taking the walk. A tough three-day challenge, but most pilgrims are optimistic they'll complete the journey to Tababusiu. Chakwana Ngatani, SABC News, Ming Huaning, Lesotho.